So I, I didn't decide I was going to go into science until after I got to um, undergraduate uh, university. I, I actually went to school thinking I was going to study economics, uh, but in my first year I, I took a broad survey of courses to see what else was out there. It's kind of a big decision, you know, what direction you're going to go into at that age. And I became fascinated with biology. So I ended up being a biology major, did a, a senior uh, project in developmental uh, biology, looking at that question of, of how, do we, how do we go from being a single tiny cell into uh, a, a, an entire organism? How, do, how does a cell, when it divides, uh, know whether it's gonna become a finger or a toe? Uh, you know, pretty, pretty interesting question. And that's when I started doing a lot of reading about nutrition and got really fascinated with the question of nutrition and optimal health, optimal performance, uh, thinking about elite athletes and, and how they have to fuel their bodies in order to perform at peak levels, or you know, those of us who are struggling with health conditions, what can we do nutritionally to support our bodies and in, in our, in our body's amazing ability to repair and, and maintain. Decided I would go to graduate school in nutrition and try to Know, build that story around health and wellness. At the time, I, I had no idea about Dr. Shackley. I'd heard of Shackley Corporation, but I didn't know the Dr. Shackley story and how that line of thinking that was going on in my head was very much where he came from. You know, almost 100 years ago, 1915, when he developed the first multivitamin, he was heading down that path of how do we use nutrition to build health and wellness, and it was an exciting time in nutrition and when they were discovering uh, the vitamins that we know about today and the importance of other essential nutrients. And he was trying to formulate products that would give our bodies everything that they need to, to build health and wellness. So it's been fascinating to me as somebody who's been advocating this approach all my life, only in the last year or so, to be reading the writings of Dr. Shackley and realized that he was saying that sort of thing all along.